Hello everyone and welcome to this week's UXP plugin quick tip tutorial. This one is going to be all about getting video hacked and working in a UXP plugin. This video might get quickly outdated, but as of now, there is no supported canvas or video tag um, for UXP plugins. So I've basically created a small hack that will be a temporary solution for being able to preview things. I've seen lots of posts in the forums saying, why would you need video for something like a UXP plugin? Well, of course you would want video for previewing things inside of your UXP plugin for those people who said that. Today I'm gonna to be showing you this super quick, super simple hack in order to get video working for your UXP plugin. Before we get started, I do wanna remind you down below, hit subscribe and the bell icon to be notified of new videos coming out twice weekly in the channel. And down in the description, you can follow us on GitHub for coding updates, as well as Instagram for other live updates. If you haven't already joined our Discord server, make sure you do to get help with scripting, extensions, plugins, submit tutorial ideas, and much more. And if you'd like to help support us on YouTube, you can do so in the description by becoming a member or supporter, which helps us out financially as well as gives you cool perks and access to things. You can also check out the links to AE Scripts, Gumroad, and Adobe Exchange to see some other cool stuff I make. So how frustrating is it that we live in a world with a new UXP kind of plugin thing coming out, but it doesn't support video tags? Obviously, very silly but the workaround is going to be to do the way video used to be done, and that is playing individual frames. There are limitations to how well we can play stuff back. So two things to keep in mind is that you're gonna to wanna to keep things at a lower frame rate. Honestly, 24 is probably pushing it in some cases. And then you'll also want things to be very compressed and in a small format so we can play them back as quickly and smoothly as possible. To illustrate this example, I basically have a setup similar to a CEP extension where we have all of our HTML and JS files, and then we have a PAX folder. In this case, we have five presets. These presets are simply exported image sequences of some video. These videos were all at different frame rates just to illustrate uh, how 60 FPS versus 25, etc., might behave. And because in UXP plugins, uh, images are supported, the idea is to simply take an image uh, tag and refresh it every so often. And finding this refresh rate is gonna be what makes your video look smooth or choppy depending on how you've set everything up. Um, hopefully in the future we won't have to do this, but as of now, this is what my future plans will be for if I am forced to create a UXB uh, plugin that requires some kind of preview like this. Um, so we basically just have a set interval set up. Um, it starts off with the first image in the sequence, and then we'll simply go all the way to the last one and then loop back around if you so wish. And the current interval I have set up between each image is 41 milliseconds. Now, in each second, there are a thousand uh, milliseconds. If we divide that by our 41 refresh rate, we get roughly 24 frames a second. If we wanted to try and do say 60 frames a second, we would take a thousand divided by 60 and our refresh rate would need to be 16.6. .6. So if I change my refresh rate uh, to 16 and go ahead and relaunch our UXB plugin, you can see it, it, it looks like it plays quicker. Um, and in some cases it actually looks less choppy and this is kind of where we have to try and find a sweet spot. So 16 looks pretty good, 41 was pretty choppy. If we try say 100, that roughly I think equates to 10 FPS. And as you can see, that is quite choppy. But if you were to go crazy and say, I want a one millisecond interval refresh on this, obviously as you can imagine, that can get a little bit crazy. It just plays super quickly. Um, I'm actually surprised because generally when I do this, it doesn't look so smooth. So maybe because I'm doing it so quickly, it just plays it quickly and is able to play it smoothly. Um, but finding the sweet spot between playback speed and choppiness is really the trick here. Uh, anywhere it appears between one and maybe 60 appears to be a good number. Um, and that will give you between 10 and 50 frames per second, roughly. Um, but yeah, that's kind of where we're at at this stage in UXP plugins. We have to use image sequences to uh, to display video properly, which is is annoying, but it's something that we can handle and we can still keep the file sizes down 
file numbers, however, will be much elevated. So just to reiterate, all we're doing is using a set interval, a built-in JavaScript thing, to uh, basically increment down to each next image every n milliseconds. But that's going to do it for this video, guys. I hope you enjoyed. If you did, hit the thumbs up button. Make sure you subscribe down below to, for new videos coming out twice a week in the channel. And of course, if you have any other solutions for video and UXP plugins, let us know down in the comments as well. Down in the description, you can follow us on GitHub for coding updates, as well as Instagram for other live updates. Uh, if you're not already a member of our Discord server, make sure you come and join to help with scripting extensions, plugins, even submit some amazing video idea features if you have other cool ways for UXP plugins to play video. You can also become a member or supporter on YouTube down below in the description to help us out financially and get cool perks. And also check out the links down below to AE Scripts, Gumroad, and Adobe Exchange for other cool stuff I make. Thanks again for watching, everyone. We'll see you next time.